And it's Joe, who we got on for the streets today? Dang, you know what I'm saying, man? TBF Ghost, man. Already, already. <coughs> Tell the people what city or state you from. Jackson, Michigan, man. Southside. Shout out 517. Shout out Deuce Block. You know I'm tied in. All right, I ask everybody this, so if you ain't in one, just say no. What game you playing? Let these motherfuckers know. Shit, man. It's thoroughbred the family. We really ain't even no game. I don't even know why people be saying that shit. Or at least be saying that shit. I'm already knowing. I'm already knowing. What type of shit you see growing up? What type of shit you was into? Shit, I was in a little bit of everything. Growing up, shit. And I was doing shit. Beating on me. <coughs> shit. We was in all that shit, for real. <laughs> you know, I'm already knowing this is a special episode. You my motherfucking blood, you know what I'm saying? So I know that you got to let the people know you feel me. And then speaking of the juvie, you know what I'm saying? I got a little story and shit. Tell me how the fuck, man, when I got out the juvie, my last ever bid, and they sent you to the other side. How the fuck when I came home, you was home before me, nigga? <laughs> that shit crazy. Shit, what happened, shit, I think I call like... Call like seven felonies and shit. Stole the car, broke in the house, flee the ruins. I was like 15 and shit. They already told me once I got off the first time, like, you come back, we gonna send you the uh, little placement shit. Fucking uh, mm -hmm. around, got sent to that bitch. Yeah, I'm telling my cousins and them before I even go over there, like, as soon as I get over there, first chance I get, I'm getting the fuck on. I know, bitch, you, I was one of the niggas you told, nigga. <laughs> I'm like, fuck that. I ain't trying to do no six months to a year. At 15, nigga, that shit seemed like a long ass time. Hell yeah. So, see, I finally get over there. On my first week there, I could have ran. But shit, there was some other niggas on there and shit that was trying to get the fuck on. So I'm like, fuck it, we gonna all skate together. Mm hmm. Fuck around. It was only there like two, three weeks. They let us outside. They uh, helped do some shit. We was fixing them. And all we was doing a motherfucking family event. Mm -hmm. We had a talent show. We was putting shit back in the car. So I'm telling these niggas, y'all niggas better not be scared, nigga. Mm -hmm. Once we get out here, now I'm gone. What the fuck you talking about? Right. <laughs> so we get out the door and shit. These niggas looking scared. I'm like, man, fuck. I, they see me take all the boom. Mm -hmm. just got the fuck on. Shit. That's how that shit happens. Real shit, real shit. Got the fuck on. You the only nigga I know ever personally escaped from that motherfucker, you feel me? All right, so the next question. Had this corona shit affected you in any type of way? Like, you can't hit the booth as much or just affected your everyday normal life? Yeah, yeah, kind of a little bit. But shit, now nah, he mobile with that bitch. So shit, I just did some new shit yesterday. Mm -hmm. yeah, that shit gonna be... <laughs> that bitch gonna work motherfuckers up for sure. I hear you, I hear you. Who your favorite producer to work with right now? I've been rocking with Chris, shit. Chris Taylor. Shout out Chris Taylor, man. Yeah. He been getting that shit together. Mm -hmm. What producer you want to work with when you get on in this shit? Man. Shit. I don't even know. There's so many. Shit. I fuck with, like, um, DJ Mustard. Mm hmm. Shit. Um, who was? Uh, that shit. Metro Boom. Shout out Mustard, shout out Metro. Mm. It's a lot of motherfuckers. Shit. It's some local people shit that do shit that I want to work with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, I hear you. Prison, can we talk about prison? Yeah. <laughs> How old was you your first ever bid in the joint? Shit, I was 17. Tell me how you felt your first day and night in that motherfucker. Shit, I ain't had no mind back then. I ain't give a fuck. I was thinking, even when I went to court and I got sentenced, and shit. He like, shit, I'm gonna send you to prison. If you was 18, you can already go to boot camp, and shit like that. Shit. He like, once you turn 18, you can go to boot camp. Shit. So when I went there, I get a bullpen and shit. There's some niggas in there. I knew it. Shit, some older niggas. Mm -hmm. Like, when they told me, I'm like, shit, they said, I'm going to the joint. I'm just laughing. Like, 
This shit crazy. I'm 17. I'm about to go to prison and shit. Mm-hmm. I'm like, man, shit. Ain't nobody taking shit from me. Mm-hmm. Beating on niggas. Stabbing niggas. <laughs> all that shit. It's a real <laughs> Period. Got to. So after you came home, what changed in your area? What was different on your block? Time for no more hot shit. Yeah, yeah, we just little, we just like shit. Little five, six, thirty nigga on the block, on the deuce, holding that bitch. Young wild nigga, shout out fifty six thirty. We ain't go nowhere. We ain't get fucked. Police came on that bitch. We was out there fighting. Hogs head off through this bitch. Mm hmm. Shit, any message you want to get a youth that's out here wilding or misguided? Shit, just try to feel me. Find your land. Try to feel them motherfuckers. People don't two-face everything. Motherfuckers ain't gonna be a hundred. Sure shit. Just make sure you're doing the right thing. Make sure if you do something, you're doing it for the right reason. Mm-hmm. Everybody gotta take chances, do a little risk and shit. Sure uh, shit, that's what the fuck is up. Hell yeah, that's what's up. So how long you been taking this music shit serious for? Shit, really? I really just started taking it serious this last year. When I mm-hmm. came home, I was like, I had so much shit and I lost it. Mm-hmm. It's like, I memorized certain songs, but I couldn't find no beat for the shit. Right. So now I just stumbled across some baby smooth beat and shit. And I was fucking with it. And I dropped my first little solo called Wake Up Rich and shit. Get mm-hmm. some audio. That bitch on you like once. 1.2k on your favorite. Right, right. Audio. Something decent for your first little track, though. Yeah, it is. Then I dropped that. I love my witness audio. Right mm-hmm. after that. And I was on the box, you feel me? I was on right. the so I, I couldn't really do shit. Hell I yeah. I wasn't going to do no money. I had a real job and shit. And shit. Once I got off. Me and Emar had this shit. That make it all this shit. Mm-hmm. It was my shit. I was gonna do it solo. He was like, let me hop on that bitch. Right. I'm like, shit, fuck it. Go ahead and get on this shit, man. Fuck it. Hell yeah. Shout out, little bro, Emar, man. He got the, he did his little shit. I heard he got tripping on that bitch. I'm like, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah bro, he going they, crazy. I wasn't even ready for the video and shit. This nigga just called me out of nowhere. He just jugging in traffic. Mm-hmm. He's like, man, let's do the video. I'm like, man. Video, I ain't even got no fish and shit right now. Right. I'm trapping, he fucking like, fuck them fish, nigga. I'm about to do this video. Fuck it, man. <laughs> Real shit. shit. Did that, uh, make it up, man. Actually, I had this shit on right here. Mm-hmm. I ain't fit. Still trapping in that bitch. I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> Real street nigga shit, boy. So, your last song, Last Forever, that bitch going up right now. How that shit come about? Shit, man. I was. I was just stumbling across beats. This enough time, I was still on the box. Mm-hmm. I just got put back on the box because I violated and shit with the jail for like a week. I got back off. Yeah. So I'm just sitting in the crib. Bored as hell be playing the game. I'm like, fuck, I don't we get on his knees and shit some more. Looking up some beats and shit. Mm-hmm. Um, came across this Babyface Ray beat and shit. I fuck with that nigga Babyface Ray shit. Yeah, shout out Babyface Ray, really going crazy. Shout out Detroit. I come across the beat, but it's like a couple years old, like from 2018. Mm-hmm. I played that bitch and shit. Like, this bitch hard as hell. I just got the right. My nigga 50 shots was recording. While well, I did this, like some of this shit while I was writing this shit, that nigga always be doing that shit. Right. So I did so I ended up finishing this shit, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And when I did it at first, I didn't even pay for the beat. Like on the beat, it say why you ain't pay for this beat though. Yeah. But I kept that on there because that shit sounded cold. Yeah, did. I ended up buying the beat. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I bought that shit that bitch like one fifty. Real nigga shit. Hell oh, yeah. Uh, on that shit, what made you say still gonna have a forty on my hip when I'm fifty six? That's my favorite line on that shit. You know what I'm saying? That shit cold. Hell yeah, man. I just feel like shit, I'm really in the street shit, man, you know, play out the field. 
Shit just gonna be what it is. I ain't gonna never lack. Real I'm talk. Real shit, talk. Hundred years down the line, I'm still alive. I'm gonna still have that bitch on me. I hear you. I hear you. you. Gotta stay safe. Gotta stay aware. Shit, I know it'd be a lot of pack smoking that go on that day. Do you personally partake? I hear you, I hear you. You ain't got to say no names or nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to know if you know what I'm saying. You got down with that little shit. Yeah, man, that's the only way. I can't even smoke if you ain't smoking the ops. Real shit, real <laughs> shit. Now, keep it in 100. Do you listen to any of the ops music? Nah, not really. I played it to see what they talk about. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It ain't really, you feel me? It ain't doing, it ain't, it ain't sparking your interest. It's like one song, it's like one song with straight. You got like some little views on it, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Got some real views on it. Real shit. They just want to tell me about shit. They want to know no disrespectful shit. Nothing like that. So. That's what's up. That's what's up. Would you potentially do a song with one of your ops for the right price? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure. Shit, name your top five rappers dead or alive all time. Top five dead or alive all time. Shit. It don't matter who they is. Local shit. I fuck with you know. Sterl got it. Shit, they yeah, you go crazy. I swear I do a song with that nigga. You talk about Al got it from Ipsy? No, Sterl got it. Oh, you said Sterl got it. My fault. My fault. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Sterl got it. Shout out Cash Kid, he go crazy for sure. Metaphors be hitting next level. Shout out Rack, man. He is supposed to get one of these bitches tonight too, man. He on some other shit tonight. Shout out Rack, we gonna get with him. Yeah, I'm already knowing. He's special with this shit. Yeah, he's special with this shit for sure. You is too though. You special with this shit too. That's why you know what I'm saying. That's why we got you in the building right now. Cause y'all always be talking that shit. Yeah, yeah. They be on my ass about that shit. Like, hey, boy, you, you be writing, nigga. Let me, let me hear some shit. Mm-hmm. But I'm always writing. Right. Just trying to keep some shit going, even if it's just halfway done. I'll fuck around, come back to it, finish that bitch. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Is it anybody in the men you want to work with? Facts, shout out JR. It's the only one you can think of going crazy in the men. You don't fuck with Mike Rio. Hell yeah, I fuck with them boys. So you don't fuck with uh shit, it's a whole bunch of niggas. Shout out DZ. Uh, shit. We were just talking about some shit like that, like doing a song, they want me to try to do some shit with that nigga DZ or somebody. They feel like how he how he rap, I kinda our shit will flow. Yeah. yeah that shit will go, go nice. And, uh, and mm-hmm. Hell yeah, that shit <clears throat> decent as hell. Yeah, shit, is there anybody outside the men you want to work with? So many niggas rapping nowadays, it really be hard to even think. Cause the other nigga off it's the top like of your dumb. It's cold, poor rappers and shit. Hell yeah, I feel it. What's your man goal in this rap shit? Where you see yourself in the next three years? Shit, man. I feel like shit. I'll probably be on by about a year, year and a half. I stay consistent. So for so. Start doing more videos, plotting them out instead of just doing them. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'll start taking on 
that's how my next video is about to start being like plotted out. Right. Where the scene you could wave the guns and shit like that. You feel me? Hell yeah. I feel it. Always gotta grow. Shit, can I get a freestyle out you? Say, if you ain't got nothing off the top of your dome, you ain't even got to, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got to do that right now. All right, for sure. Put the people on your Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, and your YouTube handle. Uh, shit, I ain't got no Twitter. I do. I don't remember that shit, though. I got Instagram, TDA, go. Shout out for the streets for me one time. I said shout out for the streets one for me one time. You already know my name. It's love.